Welcome to our children's sermon for the first week of Lent. Um, we're going to be learning all about the story of Noah. Um, and we're reading from our Spark Story Bible and we're reading about the story of Noah's Ark. So today um, I'm going to show you how you can act out a Bible story with things that you have in your house, even if they don't totally match the story, because one of the wonderful things we get to do is use our imagination. So we're going to use our imaginations today and you can use anything you have at home. All right. So here's our story. A long time passed since God created the world. People forgot about God except for one man. His name was Noah. And Noah loved and obeyed God. I'm very sad that people have forgotten about me, God said to Noah. I am going to bring rain to flood the earth. Lots and lots of rain. Build yourself a huge boat of cypress wood. Noah did just what God said and made a big, big boat with lots of rooms. So here's Noah's big, big boat with lots of rooms. So there's Noah. Noah was 600 years old when he entered the boat with his wife. And here's Noah's wife. With his sons. Noah's got his sons here. Here's Noah's sons. They're gonna go on the boat over here. And his son's wives. So here's where we're gonna we're gonna be. All of this we're pretending. We're using what we have. So here are the wives. I've got some little characters here. They're gonna go on the boat too. Everybody's on the boat. And can't forget their dog. Here's their dog. And their pet fish. They have their pet fish. Here's their pet fish. Hanging out up here. God brought two of every kind of animal to the boat. Elephants and zebras. So here's where we're going to use our imaginations. We got elephants, two elephants, and two zebras. Gotta find space on our big boat. Two zebras. The dog lost his spot. We've got lions and tigers. Oh my gosh. It's a good thing this is a big boat. It's a good thing this is a really big boat. Pigs and giraffes, dogs and cats, deers and rhinos, bears and cows, horses and goats, lambs and monkeys all came two by two. Everybody's coming two by two. Oh my gosh. Look at all of the animals. And the boat is getting really full. Oh my gosh. It's getting so full. Here's our boat. It's really full. Can you see all those people on the boat and all those animals? All of them, all different kinds of animals, birds and creepy crawly things came to the boat. Noah took all of them into the boat. Then the door shut behind them. So the door is shut. The water's going to rise. Inside the big boat, the lions roared. Can you guys roar with me? Roar! The dogs barked. Can you guys bark? And the birds chirped. It was stuffy. Ooh, and stinky. It was muggy and hot. On the outside, it rained and rained. It rained big giant drops and little baby drops for 40 days and 40 nights. The rains came down and the floodwaters came up. The water splashed on the sides of the big boat and pushed it up and down for 150 days. Oh my gosh. Finally, it rested on the top of a tall mountain. It's a good thing I have my tall desk chair it can serve as our mountain. Noah waited and waited until God said to him, come out of the boat you and your wife and your sons and their wives. Noah's family and all the animals came off the boat. Well, you guys can imagine what it looks like when they come off the boat. You guys can use your toys and bring them off the boat, right? So here they come off the boat and here's Noah. Noah's right here. They put their feet on dry land. They ran and skipped and jumped. Can you guys do that? They twirled and danced in the sunlight. They thanked God for the land and God blessed them. Noah's family grew and grew. 
The animals and the birds and the creepy crawly things filled the earth again. God painted a rainbow of brilliant red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet across the sky and promised, never again will water flood the earth. Whenever you see the rainbow in the clouds, I will see it too, and I will remember. All right, you guys can go out and try and act out uh, the whole story of Noah with your own toys or on your own. Maybe you have brothers and sisters or family that you can do that with. And I want you to think about this. What would you have thought if God had asked you to build a boat? What would you have said to God? And who would you have brought with you? All right. Have a wonderful week and we'll see you again soon.